Hey everybody, Carl here from Apt, and we're in a 2013 Subaru Outback, and we've got the brand new Alpine ILXF309 here with us. And on first look, if you have a 2013 Subaru Outback, you might want to consider this because it fits in here almost perfectly. It really, it, it looks factory-ish. It's a floating display, so it kind of pops out from the dash a little bit. It's got a really cool look to it. We're going to turn it on. We're going to go through some of the menus here and talk about some of the features. Uh, they've changed a little bit on this one. You've got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so you've got both built in. So really, no matter whether you have an Android phone or an Apple phone, you're going to be able to use uh, some great features along with this head unit. So we're going to turn the car on and see what it actually looks like once it's fired up and ready to go. So as you can see here, it starts up with the Alpine screen. It's gonna take a second here to load everything up, but it's surprisingly pretty quick to, to actually fire up, which is nice. And I've got my Android phone here, so we'll plug that in in a little bit and actually show you what the Android Auto looks like on this particular display. So you can see, hands-free is connected. We've already got the Bluetooth hooked up. That was a really easy process. It's just the press of a couple buttons on here, press of a couple buttons on your phone, and it's ready to go. It was really smooth, really easy to do. So as you can see here, we're looking at the radio. It's updating up here in the corner. I don't know if you can see that, but then it shows your, your phone battery remaining. It shows you that you're hooked up for music, hooked up for making phone calls, and then it shows your reception on your phone. So it's got some cool information up there without having to look at your phone's display. But then we look along the bottom here and we've got some keys that are gonna stay stationary, which is nice. So you've got your volume up and down. You can see as I'm touching those, these are all touch, touch buttons. There's no tactile, tactile feedback or anything but it's nice to have them there so you don't have to kind of fumble around on the screen. And then you've got your mute button, you've got a little microphone here so you can talk to the display and have it, uh, you know, have it search for things through uh, Google Assistant or whatever you want to use it, whether you're using your Siri or Google Assistant. And then we've got the menu button, so we'll hit that and we'll go here to kind of the, the main screen. This is where you can get a lot of your work done here. And it is, as you can see here, it's, I'm just swiping back and forth. It is super responsive, which is a nice change from some of their old head units. Uh, but we've got, I have Pandora on my phone, so Pandora actually comes up here so I can push that. Pandora will start up and I can listen to my channels and stuff like that. Then you've got an auxiliary, auxiliary input on here so you can hook up a DVD player if you wanted to and actually watch videos on the screen, albeit while the parking brake is engaged just for a safety measure. But you do have that option here. And then you have Bluetooth audio, so if you have music stored on your phone, you can listen to it through Bluetooth right through the head unit. And then if we hit phone, so this is gonna come up with my contacts and stuff. We'll close that out, but it's got, got all your phone numbers and stuff that comes up, so it's really easy to make a call right from the screen here. Uh, our favorites button to the side. I don't have any favorites. We literally just hooked this up, so we don't really have too much stored on here so far. But you can program your favorites into here. You've got this little star button that you can push, and it brings everything up onto the screen. Really easy to use. You can edit it up here. But let's go back into the menu here for a second. So if we go into setup, you have all your different options. You can, you can set up the sound here. We'll press sound so you can see kind of some of the equalizers that you have control over. Your rear speakers, you can, uh, you can fiddle around with your subwoofer a little bit. Equalizer presets so you can change some of these. So this has got a bunch of different presets built in, which is really nice. Uh, I mean, there, <laughs> there's a ton of stuff on here. We're not gonna go through all of it, but I'll just kind of go through some to show you a little bit about what's going on here. You can adjust the timing corrections or make timing corrections. Uh, let's see here, fade and balance. So you've got a bunch of different options here. It's got a really cool display, so it makes it really easy to utilize, really easy to set up the way you want it to sound. And then let's plug in, let's see here. I'll plug in my phone so we can actually see what the Android Auto looks like. So my phone uses a USB-C. It comes with this connection here. This is a USB plug. So you can plug one end of the USB cable in here and then the other end is gonna be whatever kind of phone you have. So a lightning connector for your Apple or a USB-C. I've got a Pixel Phone 2 here. So we plug that in and then we can start up Android Auto. You have to make sure that Android Auto is, you know, obviously installed on your phone if you're gonna use that. But you plug that in, launch Android Auto, and then we're gonna look for the Android Auto button on your car's display to start. Uh, let's see, which I don't see here. So we'll go into the menu. And here's Android Auto. So it pops up at the bottom here when you go into the main menu. Hit that. And then we have all of our stuff. And you can swipe. It's kind of like a, a mimic of your phone screen, only it's a 
like a dumbed down version because it's uh, trying to keep you safe while you're driving. So as we look here, home, that's, that pops up so you can press that and it's gonna navigate you home using your Google Maps on here. It tells you the weather and then you have uh, your Google Assistant button. You can hit the navigation button and here it's gonna bring up a map. It's a nice bright screen. I, we don't have it out in the sun so I can't really tell you yet how it's gonna look with a lot of bright light on it. But in here in the, in the shop at Apt, we, you know, we've got some pretty bright lights and it's not looking washed out or anything like that. So a lot of great features on this. I don't have an Apple phone to show you what, uh, what, what uh, CarPlay looks like, but as you can see here, everything looks really nice. It's really easy to use. It's a really, uh, it's a capacitive display, so it's easy to touch, easy to swipe things, and it's super fast. So again, if you're looking for something different, a, just a, a bigger head unit, something to fill in your dashboard a little bit better, and you want something that works really well, ILXF309 is definitely something you're going to want to check out. So make sure you guys take a look at this. We've got it on app.com. Uh, we're going to have them in the store here soon. So make sure you check it out if you're in the area. We're going to have it on display so you can you can kind of mess around with it yourself if you're, if you're in the Glenview area. Otherwise, look at it online. As always, we appreciate you guys checking out our videos and make sure you subscribe to get updates on anytime we post new content.